And that's how you turn into a snake. Okay, class, everyone, I want you to all pay attention. I am your new professor, Professor Beast Boy, and I'm here to teach you shapeshifting. Okay, settle down, settle down, everybody. Look, I know I'm a little young. I'm not that much older than you, but I have a lot of experience in shape-shifting. I'd say that I've got uh, probably the most of anybody in this class. See, when I was younger, I uh, got a pretty nasty illness in the jungle, and my parents, who were explorers, uh, did a well, they did a little bit of an experimental treatment. It was successful, but it uh, had the minor side effect that it turned me green and it also unzipped my DNA like a loose jacket. Yeah, so the upside of that is I can turn into any animal that I can imagine. So I'm perfect for teaching all of you how to turn into animals. Now, the key, the absolute first key for turning into an animal is visualization. If you can't imagine that animal, you can't turn into it. I found this out the hard way because when I first tried to turn into dinosaurs, I didn't do a good job imagining them. And so I didn't end up turning into little tiny dinosaurs and I almost got stepped on by a supervillain, which is um, awkward to say the least. So you have to envision the entire animal. You have to think about its fur. You have to think about its tail. You have to think about how big its head is in relation to the rest of its body. You know, if you're turning into something really tiny, what does it feel like to be that small? You have to visualize it. It is a very different experience being a mosquito or being a tiger. But here's the thing, they both bite. That's a bad joke, I just forget. Anyway, anyway, the first step is visualization, but it's not so much more than that. The second step is you have to become the animal. You have to think about what it wants, what it needs, what it desires, what a walrus wants is very different than what a panther wants. A walrus wants to lay in the sun, it wants to eat fish, it wants to protect its nest, and it wants to make this sound. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I will, we'll try to keep it down in here, it's, it's okay. Whereas a panther wants to be silent, it wants to stalk its prey. It wants to smell the air at night while its tail swishes through the jungle. Well, why don't we try? Uh, you, young sir. Young sir, come on up here. Uh, you're, you're kind of untidy, aren't you? That's okay. I'm pretty untidy, too. So why don't you try turning into uh, a chicken? That did not go well, uh, but, but bonus points that you do have the feathers all over your body. I think that um, with a little concentration, you'll be able to get those to uh, go away. Go ahead and sit back down. Let's get someone else. Uh, you young lady. Yes. Uh, have you been trying to turn into a rabbit? Oh, they're, they're like that usually. I'm, I am sorry. I didn't mean, I, I meant no disrespect. Hey, look, look, I... I have nothing against people who look a little different. Um, why don't we try a ocelot? Most, wow, you did a great job. Most people don't even know what an ocelot is. And you turned right back, that's very impressive. A lot of people get a little stuck and we have to kind of help them get back into their humanoid form. 
which is the next part I want y'all to think about. You need to keep your human form in clear sight. Otherwise, you can end up turning back with fur, you can end up with a tail, or you can just get stuck in that body. Now, you might ask yourself, why did I have a student turn into an ocelot if I was worried they might get stuck that way? Because I forgot about it until after you did it. So I'm really glad you were able to turn back into a person. That's uh, bonus points to you or whatever they call it here. It's, it's something, some kind of point thing, right? Okay, well, anyway. I want you to understand a few things. When you are the animal, it's not like wearing a Halloween costume. Turning into an animal is a primal experience. You will gain the animal's desires, their instincts, their senses. The world looks so different as a wolf. All of the smells are bombarding you. When you're an eagle, you can see for so far away. And you hear in a higher registry when you're a bat and you scream and the world comes back to you. It is transcendent. And you're going to love every minute of it. But you have to be able to control yourself. If you turn into a tiger and you haven't had breakfast, well, brother, it's going to be rough for the people around you because you might decide to take a little bite out of them. So you have to rein in those instincts. And this is how you do it. You have to find something essential about yourself. Something that is so you that it just makes you want to stay who you are. Yeah, it is kind of like a happy memory. Have y'all done something like that before? Oh, you have. Okay, good, good. So yeah, we could say you can call it a happy memory if you want. Something in your mind that draws you back to yourself. So for me, it was the day that I joined the Teen Titans. I had, uh, well, I'd had kind of a rough go with another team, uh, the Doom Patrol. They were a great bunch, and well, a lot of them died. A lot of them died pretty horribly. I was real young back then. I didn't know what I was going to do. I did the help. Sorry, I didn't have a place in the world. And that's when I met Robin. And he showed me that there was a, a group starting, a group of kids my age, a little older than me actually, who, who wanted to make the world a better place. And I wanted to do that too. I took the lessons that I had learned in Doom Patrol and I tried to become the best member of the Teen Titans that I possibly could. And to be honest, I haven't always done that, but I tried. I really, really tried. And you can too. So I want all of you to stand up. And I want all of you to think about that happy memory. Think about it and capture it in your mind. Now, you're all going to turn into chickens. Except, of course, you haven't caught a disease in the jungle and haven't had your DNA all messed with, so you're going to have to do it a little bit differently. So pull your wands out, and I want you to say the incantation to turn into a chicken. All right? On the count of three, we're going to do it. Any of you have trouble, don't worry. Miss Hermione here has told me that she's going to be able to turn you back. Okay? Now, since Professor McDonagall is out, I think between the two of us, we're going to be able to figure this out. You're all going to be great at learning how to transform. 
and by the way, could you tell them that I did a good job as a teacher? I'd like to come back and teach more transfiguration classes. All right, wands out and go. Bunk Hey everybody. Uh, uh, look, you've still got a little bit of a beep there. You might want to work on that. Thank you so much for watching Roleplay Riot. If you like what you're seeing, subscribe. It really helps me out. I also have an Amazon wish list. If you want to buy me some more cool ears or something else like that, you can find something there and send it to me. I really appreciate it. Cosplaying is very expensive, and even one little item on there really helps out a lot. Thank you so much, and uh, one more time,